Two huge names in the automobile industry, Volkswagen and Tesla, are getting people wondering. Are they considering starting a partnership? Because of recent crisis at Volkswagen, Herbert Dees, the company's CEO, has reached out to Elon Musk. In a conference with more than 200 of Volkswagen's top officials present, Dees requested that Musk be there. While Volkswagen is currently the dominant player in Europe's automobile market, Tesla, with its Berlin plant almost ready to roll, is set up to be the newest and possibly biggest player in the continent. So the big question is, why did Volkswagen need Musk's help? Are both companies exploring a collaboration? Let's talk about all of this and more in today's video. Welcome to my Uverse, the space where all things tech get the spotlight. If you're new here, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for your dose of tech trend news, Tesla reviews, and other insights into the tech world. On news that Tesla is opening its Giga factory in Berlin, Herbert Dies, CEO of Volkswagen, has said, I'm delighted that he's coming to Germany. We'll attempt to keep up as fast as we can. Dies made his remarks following the release of his company's third quarter profits. In fact, the Volkswagen Group is also pursuing an electrification strategy. Its headquarters are in Wolfsburg, Germany, while Tesla's Giga factory is being constructed in Brandenburg, Berlin, just a few hours drive away. Volkswagen, through its CEO D, cited how supply challenges have resulted in a 12.1% decline in its operating profit. Global semiconductor constraints have significantly impacted Volkswagen's business performance in Q3, and the firm stated that Volkswagen is not alone in experiencing semiconductor scarcity. The Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders has said that the automobile manufacturing in the United Kingdom fell by 41.5% year-on-year in September and that output continues to be impeded by production halts caused by the current worldwide semiconductor shortage. According to the SMMT, only 67,169 automobiles were produced in September 2021, making it the worst September performance since 1982. While overall output was down, battery, electric, and plug-in hybrid, as well as hybrid models, made up 32.3% of all vehicles produced. In July, the Volkswagen Group stated that by 2030, 50% of all of its sales would be battery electric vehicles. By 2040, the business expects nearly all cars in important markets to be zero emission. Musk has always been an active spokesperson and even a torchbearer in the causes that he supports. At the present time, CEOs and other head honchos from even competing firms are looking to Musk for his support as they attempt to take their businesses to the next level. Technological milestones are being hit at an accelerated rate. Thanks to all of the movers and shakers, we're getting closer and closer to achieving sustainability. This is the very principle that Musk has been working towards, and as more forces begin to join in, the dream of a greener, more sustainable future is coming closer to fruition. And while it is indeed unexpected to hear that the CEO of a giant corporation from the same industry, someone who can most definitely be classified as business competition, has come to Musk to ask him for help, it should be known that Herbert Dees has been actively trying to connect with Musk and establish a friendship with him. How did this happen? Well, here's a little bit of trivia. Back in 2015, with a contract in hand, Musk offered the CEO role at Tesla to none other than Herbert Dees. And although things took a different route, we have learned that Musk and Dees' cordial relationship has progressed as they both publicly complement each other's leadership roles in the electrification of the auto industry. And so it happened that the CEO of Volkswagen, Musk's friend Herbert Dees, invited him to an internal conference with 200 of Volkswagen's top executives to discuss increasing innovation in the electric vehicle market. 
As you know, Tesla presently holds the monopoly on the EV market. And in true Musk fashion, the technological leader chose to make the decision to address a competitor's brand. At the event, Musk surprised Volkswagen employees by not just showing up, but by talking about different topics such as the shift to electric vehicles, the management style, supply chain optimization, and other production-related challenges. The conference also featured professional business author Aaron Mayer, and while Musk was not physically present at the event, he did appear via video conference as its surprise guest of honor. The conference was held to announce a few significant adjustments in the company's structure, and Volkswagen had chosen to introduce a wide range of electric vehicle goods and it has put its largest plant against Tesla's Berlin Gigafactory. Volkswagen is attempting to become the world's leading manufacturer of electric vehicles and held the conference for a faster pivot to EVs. These showed optimism about Volkswagen's historical performance, confidence in its market dominance, stating that the company has done many things properly in the past. He emphasized, however, that while Volkswagen was dominant in the old world, there's no guarantee for its continued dominance in the new one. These also stated that Volkswagen needs to make faster judgment calls, have less bureaucracy and greater accountability. As such, these asked all of Volkswagen executives to focus on all electric vehicle mobility and become more agile to react to market trends and changes. Now, you may call it healthy competition, but others see it as a PR strategy. In fact, Herbert Thies successfully made headlines the very next day. Musk's appearance helped the company regain its dwindling exposure in the press, and as Musk spoke about the problems, the challenges, and the wins at the conference, it also played an essential role in connecting the companies. Besides sharing his time and his insights, Musk also provided the Volkswagen team with a bit of motivation as he said that he is sure that the German automotive icon will master the move to electric vehicles. It is known that Musk is a very good sport and he's always appreciated competition. He has never expressed concern about other companies or the government copying his ideas or his work. In an interview with CNBC, Dee stated, I appreciated that he turned up. I think we had a wonderful conversation. We must recognize that Tesla establishes new benchmarks on the EV side, not only in terms of technology, but also in terms of production speed. I believe that competition is always beneficial. Musk's presence at the conference and Deese's statement show that both men have mutual respect toward one another and may even be good friends. It also appears that Herbert Deese will be paying Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin a visit in the very near future. It's been almost 10 years since the Tesla Model S proved that electric cars could compete with the best on both style and performance. It's also been four years since its Model 3 brought technology to a wider market. In the course of those years, Musk had to battle doubters in the industry, fight off bankruptcy, and fight it off with lawmakers. 2021 most definitely brought a measure of vindication from Musk and his company as companies ranging from Ford to Volkswagen to Mercedes-Benz have started embracing electric vehicles and unequivocally committed their futures to this new technology. According to a recent Business Insider article, when Tesla's Giga Berlin ramps up production, which is anticipated by the end of the year, it will create new production norms. For example, Tesla may be able to produce the Model 3 in 10 hours compared to the 30 hours it would take Volkswagen to make an EV. Tesla has also successfully handled the current of the global semiconductor scarcity better than any other traditional manufacturer has. Herbert Dees acknowledged that this is because its software team was able to upgrade Tesla's software in just two to three weeks, allowing the company to transition to more easily accessible types of CPU. 
Even if Tesla has officially relocated its headquarters from Silicon Valley to Austin, Texas, it still embodies the Silicon Valley culture of innovation, iconoclasm, and looking forward. These traits contribute to the natural advantages in terms of skill and old giant corporations like Volkswagen will certainly struggle with. With these seeking Musk's aid, it is clear that he wants Volkswagen to pivot to EV as soon as possible. In an interview with CNBC, Dees has previously discounted the possibility of Volkswagen collaborating with Tesla, saying that it was eager to go on its own way. In another interview with Squawk Box Europe, he was asked if he would rule out any future arrangement with Elon Musk and his company, in which Volkswagen might manufacture its cars or if Tesla and Volkswagen brands would ever merge. To that, these answered, we haven't thought about it, we're going our own route, we aim to narrow the gap and eventually overtake. And we believe we can, we need our software stack and technologies. There's no longer any doubt that the auto industry is going electric. Every international automaker is introducing battery cars and plug-in hybrid options are increasingly part of model lines. Who would like to see collaborations between Tesla and Volkswagen? And how do you feel about Musk's presence at Volkswagen's internal conference? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more Tesla and tech updates on this space.